Okay, so it is Saturday morning. Uh, I just got off the phone with the guys over at Thrower. Uh, they take such awesome care of us. So Jeff, Danny, Adam, Jason, thank you guys a million times over for for always making sure we're we're good with trucks and everything. But uh, it's about seven seven fifteen ish, I think. Uh, they said concrete will be here at about eight or eight fifteen. So me and Eleanor, we have some work to do. Yay! Uh, everything's set up and ready, so no work right now. Uh, just waiting for concrete to get here, and then we're gonna pour the pour this little wall. So, and yes, I know I pointed out before that wall does turn. Um, I wanted 12 feet in front of that sidewalk there in the wall. Um, still haven't decided if that wall is gonna run the whole way out to the street or stop halfway. Um, just the old driveway was a little wonky. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll get some more brush and stuff cleared out here later and, and decide what we're gonna do, huh? So, all right guys, we're waiting for concrete. Okay, so the wall was poured, uh, the top is floated, and if you saw, I went through and I cleaned up all the concrete that spilled over the forms. That way, it doesn't tighten up on my bottom braces there. Um, I have easy access to take those off when it comes time to pull all these forms. Uh, but now we're just kind of at a, at a standstill. So me and Eleanor are gonna hang out here and uh, wait for concrete to tighten up. So the concrete's at the point now uh, that we can go ahead and float the top and edge it to bring the cream up so it finishes nicer. Um, I was really hoping that I was going to get to do this while holding Eleanor. I thought that would be kind of funny. Uh, but she fell down, fell, uh, not fell down, but uh, fell down for a nap. Uh, put her on the couch in the living room. I have the camera on so I can keep an eye on her while I'm out here doing this. And uh, yeah, get her going. Okay, so the top's all floated down and edged. 
So we're gonna give this a little bit longer to tighten up and then we'll refloat it, re-roll the edges, give it a little bit longer then, and then broom the top. Uh, now I tried pulling uh, this uh, little cleat that I have on. The form pulled a little bit, which meant the concrete was too soft to do that. Uh, we wanna keep these forms nice and straight, so I pushed down on this kicker Got that to suck back in, re-screwed it, so we'll leave those cleats on for a little bit longer and then get, uh, pull those, clean those up, and uh, then we can broom the top. Uh, we are probably going to have to wait a little bit longer before we can pull any of these uh, forms. We want to make sure this wall stays nice and straight. Uh, since this is going to be next to the driveway, I want everything to look as perfect as, as possible. Uh, that way anybody pulling in, they're not looking at some ugly bowed and warped wall. So, just playing the waiting game now. It is amazing what 20 minutes does with concrete. Uh, went in, this stuff was a little too soft to do anything with, and now it is very, very tight, and I could probably start pulling these forms. Okay, so now that the wall's done, I can go ahead and get this area prepped for the driveway. Um, what I'm gonna do is, uh, this whole area will be concrete, as well as I'm gonna make a pad over here for my air conditioner unit and my hose reel to sit on. And we're gonna loop that right in and catch the top of this step so that we can hopefully keep a smaller planter there just to help plant some taller grasses there to hide that stuff. Uh, the, the driveway's gonna end Right here, I'll fill this area in with gravel. That way when I get lumber delivered for the garage, uh, we can drop it right there. I have a nice smooth transition. Uh, we can help keep this nice and good until uh, we can drive on it. So that's the next step. Okay, everybody, that is it. Here is a final look over at the wall that me and Eleanor did. There you go. Uh, now she was napping, but because I do have a security system at my house that includes cameras, uh, I was able to use my phone to, you know, watch her sleeping in the living room on the couch to make sure that, uh, you know, when she woke up, I was able to go get her, make sure she wasn't just 
roaming around in our house without some sort of supervision. Huh. We took a good long nap. So uh, we poured this wall at about 8.30 and I believe it is almost 10 o'clock now. Uh, so it took about an hour and a half to get it poured, set up, pulled the front forms and finished. Uh, now, as you can see here, we did a broom finish across the top and then I floated it. Uh, you guys saw me floating it uh, just to kind of cream it up and fill in all those holes. And then here is the sides. I took a sponge and just ran it down, kind of roughed up the sides a little bit to help mimic the top. Uh, but I really like sponging the sides of walls. I think it's a nice clean finish for it. Um, now, if you do notice, I do have a line going across the bottom there. Um, that is going to be under our concrete height, so I wasn't too concerned about that. Uh, the spots that it was pretty bad though, however, um, I did take my hammer and kind of tap them in to blend it in a little bit more. But for the most part, that is going to be under uh, the finished driveway. So now I just have a little bit of cleanup to do. I have to clean up these forms, clean up my tools, and then uh, I can get this weekend started. Once this wall sets up a little bit more, I'll be able to pull the back forms, clean those up a little bit, and then finish running that French drain pipe. Um, and again, that is going to catch all of the water that comes off the hillside, because I am at the bottom of a relatively large hill. Uh, so any water that comes down off that hillside crosses the road and down this hillside here. Uh, that French drain is going to catch it, take it over there. You guys saw that in the previous video. Uh, it's not going to be coming up against the house anymore so uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and uh wrap this one up so that i can get cleaned up and uh we can get this weekend started yeah okay all right guys well thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of gunpowder and freedom if you liked what you saw please click the like and subscribe don't forget to check out our store on etsy don't forget to pop over to our instagram page and give us a like and uh we'll see you on the next one won't we can you say bye? All right, guys, have a great weekend.